Greetings. Guten Tag. Talo Falava. This is Dr. Snow Brown. Nice to uh, catch up with you all, especially the snow sheep, snow shepherds. Uh, did you notice anything on my CKCTV number two YouTube channel? Well, if you if you saw some very drastic changes, like Cyclone Gabriel, hmm, don't be alarmed because, like the weather patterns, anything can happen, anything can happen. So from time to time, something is going to happen. I mean, it's it's, it's my church TV. That's great. It, <laughs> Is operated and run by a natural noble pastor that is qualified, that is meek. So part of my intellectual property at the moment, it is registered as a company. That's correct. So Crystal Kingdom Church TV Limited as a, as a company. But it is actually a, a monarch, it's actually a meek monarch. Hmm. Well, let's say, um, yes. A, a meek monarch or a, a royals a full royals so-called intellectual property it is actually my throne and my crown that is correct so it is registered as a as a private company but it's actually a ministry as well so it's a private ministry and a private monarch that is meek so on the one hand, uh, there is a director who owns this so-called meat company that was registered on the 11th of January 2018 by the name of El Marilia Eileen Treviranus, who is now just turned 50 last year. Now, this company of mine, which is entirely my, my idea, and also it is connected back to my play. So my play is the manual for my intellectual property. That's great. It is part of, it is built in to this private meek monarch. That is childlike. My kingdom is childlike. And so is my type of, my type of pastoring or ministering. Meek, it's, there's meekness like a child. You notice that when you come in to my Facebook where my company was established and my private monarch was established. You saw a lot of that, that is actually very childlike. That's great. Is it misleading or is it ambiguous? Well, not if the so-called owner and the co-founder of the so-called private intellectual property keeps telling you, I am a natural noble pastor and I am Dr. Snow Brown. So that is my knighthood as a king knight templar so that is why you all should have respected me by now irrespective of my type of preachings the type of such subject, subject matters um, you know topics that i have been covering through my 107 videos posted it is posted inside my kingdom so my youtube channel is a second is, is is a link to my kingdom which is crystal kingdom church tv now if you see drastic changes where i am deleting stuff inside my community category the, the category the community category of my intellectual property it well that's part of that is what you call snow shepherding or snow pastoring or snow ministering on the meek level on the meek National pastor, we're on a meek German king's, knight's king, knight's templar's king uh, level. That's great. So the intellectual property, as you would have known, if a lot of you were using it, you came in to my Facebook. That's great. When my company was actually established here initially. And you would have seen in the conditions, it clearly explains to you that it's an interactive intellectual property. And my guess is the time I remember when I first registered my idea, it, I registered also the logo, which I refer to as a holy altar. 
which is also the label or the, the you know the trademark of my intellectual property that's great uh, now I guess what I'm saying is I specifically said it was interactive wasn't it yes that's great so if stuff if I start deleting stuff that is called pruning from a shepherd's point of view pruning and crafting and all sorts of things and this is the same kind of technique or, or strategy uh, of the type of pastoring that Jesus applied during his ministry so I want you all just to respect my style of pastoring and ministering uh, inside my YouTube channel if you take offense to anything I say then that means you don't belong in my kingdom you could never qualify as one of my snow sheep, snow shepherds, or even as a as a sheep, and even as a reborn, because you couldn't take any directions from me, and you were never in agreement with me, with any of my preachings and stuff like that. So, if for some reason you like the videos that I use, these are teaching, these are ministering tools, teaching tools, and preaching tools. That's correct. And if you like the videos that I use, that's great for the interactive, you know, this is the second part of my church TV, YouTube channel, but you don't like the person who actually runs it. That's myself, Dr. Snowbrow. And you don't like the way that I do my, my church TV. Here's my advice for you. And this is wise advice, actually. Well, I've been doing this, this intellectual property or this private company for the last five years. So I understand the ins and outs and I know the social media platforms and whatnot and I know all the terms and you know jargons and whatnot for those of you who are non-believers not or well, not Christians who might be entrepreneurs or business people or, or just people that are unemployed or people that ha don't have a purpose and you haven't been called to do something for the gods you don't know what your calling is what your purpose is you sort of randomly are uh, curious you have no idea yet what to do with your lives I suggest there is such a thing as you've got your own YouTube channel what gifts and talents what brains you have what advices what gifts what whatever you have the, the tools you've got, whether you got it from life experience or from courses or, or, or some other way of getting, you know, wisdom, enlightenment, but wisdom. Remember, we all have a brain and we all have experiences and we all have a purpose and a calling. And so I want you to go onto your empty YouTube channel or your blank YouTube channels and create something that is specifically catered for your needs that's great because there have been some the people whose videos that I'm grateful for that I use and I share that I use it as teaching tools and even as ministering tools and also tools to bless and, and heal as well as protect my snow can club congregation I, I want to thank you all I want to thank each and every one of you irrespective of what kind of video that comes in that's great I, I'm, I'm grateful in my Lord and my Queen Queen Snow Brown and, and the gods are thankful for your contributions in making a difference with your videos so I don't own the videos I know that but my idea is called it interactive church TV and that is why um, I use other people's videos that's great and it's always been that way for my pastoring ministry so I want you all each and every one of you that's coming in for the wrong reasons or coming in genuinely for the right reasons I want you to think about the fact that you want to be in control of your mind of your decision making of your choices and options right 
go onto your YouTube channel and create something that is so unique that is specifically for your needs and nobody else's needs. And you don't need to give a damn about what anybody thinks. That's great. How you create your own YouTube channel. It would be specific to your needs and nobody else's. And not to care if you make mistakes. You will learn to run your own YouTube channel. Just like how I run my YouTube channel. And this is for my snow sheep, snow shepherds. And for people who are genuine. As for the rest of you, you need to go and find, find your purpose. Find something that's great. Whether it be your soulmate or something. You know, in this life, you do not use other people to get ahead, to get ahead. You do not use Dr. Snowbound, whether it be my logo, that is so special, that's great. Uh, but it's being misused and abused by people, not only the local people of this township, but the rest of Kiwis in this country. And there even have been some people overseas that have also misused, but more so the people inside this country had been misusing and abusing my holy altar. When I specifically told you, it has nothing to do with your treaty partnership or treaty document. So please, I'm begging you right now that you've got no choices. You've got to go onto your own YouTube channel and create your own YouTube channel. It is time for you to take control of your own mind. Stop applying arbitrary dictatorships to other people. Stop trying to control other people. That's correct. And trying to take advantage of me, because there's only one of me, in your town, in, in this township, but even in this country, and the rest of this planet. But you got to understand something. I don't think <laughs> this is how stupid and ignorant your country is. And that goes for the government. Who is... <laughs> looks like they are all jealous of, of my so-called special intellectual property. So they try to counterfeit and duplicate. But at the end of the day, you people, you need to go and research your own genealogies, your own whakapapas, as, as the Marys would say in this country. You need to go and research stuff about your own lineage, your bloodline, you know, your family stuff and the rest of it. When you come in to listen to my so-called preachings, my videos, I want you to learn something from it. But I don't want you to harm me, to retaliate for some odd reason for the things that I say, because that is what it means to be a natural pastor. And that is what it means to be Dr. Snow Brown. That's great. You don't know Dr. Snow Brown like I do. Like the way that I have been doing Dr. Snowbound in the last five years. There is nobody here in this country that knows me better than my two angels and my six Holy Ghost children and, and they alone the Holy Spirit and they alone myself. I know myself better. And when somebody disrespects me, the way you behave, that's great. And I'm warning you, especially people that are married, that's correct. If somebody's going to bribe you, pay you money, uh, whether to set me up inside my own kingdom, my own church TV, please don't do that. I might be an unpaid director, the only director of a private company that is unpaid. That's correct. But that don't mean that you can overstep my boundaries. And try, you know, and play your, your mind games and trickery of some sort. They'll be despicable. There are some of you that are actually having sex with other people, but you would have to come from the MBKK criminal organization to be doing that kind of thing. To have me dictated to or control or denied my privileges. You got no rights to go down that road because you don't know who you are. But I know very well who I am. I'm a full royal. I'm a German noble. That's great. And I discovered it by accident. Even more so just recently. When I stumbled upon one particular video by Dr. Ludwig. 
Thank you, Dr. Ludwig, for all the other 40 plus videos that I now am passionate about, that I got in tune, are connected with my German heritage, my German side, and it made sense. Why, why they think that they could have me doubt to, and it's because of my sound more indigenous side, but I'm sorry, I, I'm a real German. How do I know that? Well, <sighs> I don't know how many of you know the German national anthem, but, but I know the German national anthem really well. And every German out there, irrespective of whether you were born outside of Deutschland or born in Deutschland, you would have a connection if you sing that national anthem. For the first time today, that's correct, the revelation that had been given. You know, you might have all remembered when Her Majesty Queen, Snow, uh, Queen Elizabeth II passed away, passed away during her passing. And there was a special, you know, announcement being made publicly, in a mean, meaning on social media, on the news, and even there in good old England. And that was His Royal Highness, King Charles III, had been announced to be the new king of England. And it's a public, and they read it out in public. And it's called a proclamation. Proclamation, that's correct. So it's a public announcement <clears throat> to the people of United Kingdom, the citizens of England, but also to all the nobles of England and in Scotland and Ireland and, and their so-called other countries that make, that are part of the United Kingdom, um, to receive this news publicly. And that is, the new King of England has been proclaimed as King Charles III. Now, today, I made the, the incredible revelation that you see the difference between King Charles III and, of course, he's had a public proclamation. It is part of the traditions for royals, monarchs, and whatnot. That's correct. I, on the other hand, never had that kind of, never been privileged to have that special kind of proclamation to be announced publicly, despite I am a full royal. By birth, and even by, by, by shepherd, by shepherd, by pastor, If you all take a look at this, this right, this this special holy altar of mine that was prepared by Ghanaian Samlama at the time, about um, the twenty first of June, twenty sixteen, that I launched on my Facebook on the twenty sixth of June, twenty sixteen. Have a look again. That I refer to as a holy altar. But it actually it actually it is the, the other the other meaning of this so-called holy altar of mine or this special logo. That is actually the flag that sealed my public proclamation as a full royal and as a meek king. Dr. Snow Brown. So, when you look at that, that, that holy altar again, Dr. Snow Brown is my crown ship. So, officially, the whole wide world, not just New Zealand, Aotearoa New Zealand, but the entire globe, that's correct, got to see my public, got to, yeah, to see for themselves. The public proclamation of my kingship, my crownship, in, in that form, which is it's like a mystery, really. That's great. Just like Jesus, 
Jesus knew he was a king, but he didn't have to wear the crown like King Charles III or Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II to say that he was king. Like Jesus, I walk everywhere on my feet. And I don't need to ride a golden carriage like Cinderella or like the royals of England to say that I'm a full royal. Or to even say that I'm just like Jesus. What I will say, tell you this is that you all now know who Dr. Snowbound really is. You're looking at a German noble, a German meek king in the form of a natural pastor. So that logo isn't just my holy altar, it is my flag that, uh, that oh, not only, you know, made a public proclamation of my kingship, my crownship, and my so-called independent state, Crystal Kingdom state. It is also the flag that is flown full mast all the time on Facebook to let every creature, small and big, great and small, and even every human, and that includes the nobles, especially and the, the elites and the governments around the globe, there goes a new king like Jesus that is so meek, but with a new kingdom, it's called Crystal Kingdom Independent State in the form of Crystal Kingdom Church TV. The most powerful meek king, indeed. Now, of course, that would be all the envious. That would be the envy of the, the green-eyed monster, of course, hmm. from all the indigenous people of this country. I guess what I'm saying is that New Zealand, you, you really don't deserve this, this Dr. Snow Brown. That's correct. I belong somewhere else. I, there's no doubt I belong inside YouTube channel. That is where my second kingdom is, Crystal Kingdom. The second link to my kingdom. The first link to my kingdom is Facebook. But you all remember now to watch your steps. Do not overstep your boundaries. You are looking at a new king who is meek, who wears an invisible crown, but one that is quite lethal and deadly. Because, well, there are over 20,000 castles in Germany, Deutschland. How many castles are there in, in New Zealand, by the way? Honey bun, I came to work. How many castles? There's probably a few ruins there. I know that. Um, castles, maybe there was probably one, but non-existent. How many royals are there in this country? Well, probably the only royal I know of is the Tongan king and the Māori king. But in Germany, there's over 20,000 royals. Ones that wear crowns and have monarchs and live in castles. So you all be very careful now. Because we could have World War Three, Because you're looking at a king that you should have respected. And you should not have committed any treasons of any sort in New Zealand. But the government in, of New Zealand, I mean this is, you know, this is typical English. It's correct. They like to strip. You know, people with statuses, people with titles, down to the bare bones, down to a loser, like outlaws and criminals and, and, and whatnot. That's great. Terrible how the English have got this, this addiction. That's great. Wanting not only to convert people of status and, and people of with titles to, to criminals by converting them to slaves and going through their so-called allies in the form of this apartheid treaty partnership. But you also are misusing your privileges in the system. They think that just because they're white and skin color, that, that it somehow kind of, you know, goes to the head. 
thinking that they're superior, that you got more rights than, than, than people like myself. Uh, you be careful. Think again. Think again. Why have you people been continually, and that's right, targeting me all these years and stealing from me? It's because my anything I produce is, is pure. Mm. It is produced by a full royal. That means I have status, I have value. Whereas the rest of you, especially the ones inside this building, do not have any value of any sort. So the fact that the elite, hmm, instead of looking after me are on, on the nobles level, irrespective of the so-called, you know, my income being $277, I mean, that's my entitlement. But for you to bribe people in criminal organizations and even to have sex with them, to have me control, to have me studied here, to have my status lowered down here to a convict, well, I didn't need that conviction. Now you're in trouble. That's correct. Because we are going to war. And I will make sure of it. Because I wear a crown. And I know who I am. And today, I am not taking it from the English. Who are not only well known for committing treasons. They have a bad history. Yes, Hanibal. The English of committing treasons. And also of trying to strip people from the South Pacific. Especially Samoa. With titles. You remember what they did. To His Royal Highness. To Puerto Masisi Lelofi III. Well, of course, you know, if they didn't, if he didn't abide with their so-called demands, they stripped him of his title. That's correct. And, and of course, they um, shipped him here to good old muddy waters hmm, to be locked away in prison for five years. I mean, seriously. And, and look at all the stuff that, I, that, yeah, the nonsense that I received. And I really don't understand why. Why the English have got a fascination over somebody like me? That's correct. Why they've got an, an obsession as well. To control people like us, we're more privileged than the rest of you. Now, if any of you is using my flag or my independent state out there, don't you dare use it in public. I will put you to death. That's correct. Well, I will do something to you. Remember, I'm a Knights Templar. There are some pastors, some shepherds that I've had to, to say goodbye to or let go, let go. Because they are not Knights Templar. My flock is different. My flock is very easy. They're reborns and they are meek. They're meek. That's correct. But the moment you, you go against me, remember, I wear a crown. I've got Queen Snow Brown above me. That's when I say... <laughs> Your dead meat. That's the end. That's the end. So all those people that I serve trespass notices to, that includes Cardinal Archie John Drew. That's great. Please don't, 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 don't overstep me. Do not go through other losers to dictate to me. Or to think that you've got a right to overrule my decision making that includes the, the crown of New Zealand I had already just told you who I really am that's correct so I hope you be civil now you behave yourselves because I will bring reinforcements World War 3 but you will see me as a real German king yeah with the whole thing, with the whole show, the whole procession, you'll see me wearing. You asked for it. I never asked you to pick on me. That's great. I mean, I look at the so-called, you know, I, I'm afraid that the Marty King's son is not likely to ascend to a throne. That's great. They alone wear a crown. In fact, uh, I think they would prefer him. Yeah. To be hanging from a lamppost instead of wearing a crown and ascending to a throne. That's great. No, and I'll be very... No, no. That's the fact. People in New Zealand are jealous of people that have got statuses 
like royal status. That's correct. And they are always up to no good trying to dig, you know, dig their graves. Hmm. Or trying to throw mud on their names. That's correct. Or target them from some frivolous petty, you know, nonsense. Like Deborah Johnson. But who is Deborah Johnson? Who is she? That's correct. I'm a royal. I'm a king. But you're looking at a meat king. So be careful now. My name has already been, you know, proclaimed. Not only on my so-called holy altar, but that's the flag. The independent state of crystal kingdom. Full sovereignty. Full what? Full independence? It's got everything. So don't copy. Don't counterfeit it. Because you will all be put to death if the reinforcements were to turn up. That's great. Because that's what you all deserve. Don't say I deserve anything just because I swear, just because that's my right as a king. It's my right as a snow shepherd. Military people understand me really well. My style of preaching. The children are not scared of me. The animals are not scared of me. But I'll tell you what. <laughs> the enemies that have been digging into me in the last nine years, that's correct. Especially some of the, the most oh, hideous, that's correct, people. The animals and the children will run the other way, that's correct. Instead, they will run towards my queen and they will run towards me, that's correct. But but if it was them, they the, the, the children and the animals will literally run the other way. That's because I'm Dr. Snow Brown. You all have a nice day now. Behave yourselves and thank you for lending your ears. Hmm. And I hope that for those whose videos I deleted, please what? Please respect their boundaries. Don't try and set me up, especially the married ones. What is wrong with this married people? That's great. Hey, if you're married, there are certain, that's right, there should be some boundaries. There are certain behaviors you say, you know what? I don't need to go there. I'm already taken. I am already, I've already got my good luck. I just need to focus on, on my good luck. That's great. A and focus on that one person that has given me all my blessings. But I don't need to name names. That's correct. So married people, please behave yourselves. You know, you know the rules, you know the boundaries, but you know you always want to play around. That's correct. And you always want to try your luck, don't you? Well, next time, yeah, might end up, you know, backfire or bite you in the ass when you least expect it. So please what? Keep to your boundaries. You know, keep your eyes on your own property or your price. There are some friendships that we know hmm, that, 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 are, that we, we, we will never want. That will never end. That's correct. And then there are some friendships. We don't even need to go there. That's correct. They already got somebody. I'm not about uh, nobody. No man, no married man out there. Not No other man can ever break my heart. That's correct. Why? Because I've got an archangel warrant. Nor can they ever steal my heart. Ever again. I guess that's the lesson I learned as well. Being a king. When you're a king, nobody can steal your heart and nobody can break your heart. That's correct. That's the difference. But when I need to make sacrifices, I make them. Unlike the rest of you in this country, oh my God, you can't make any sacrifices. That's correct. Especially your treaty partnership treaty document. So how are you going to survive? That's correct. If you keep on going down that road, are you going to take advantage of me? And you're going to keep on dictating to me? And I wear the crown? I'm above you. Right. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, you all have a very blessed day. And a lovely week. Amen.